Hi guys, it's Libby here coming at you from Montana, Kalispell, Montana. So my whole thing here is a little different today and I'm trying to get used to it. Um, this is the first video that I'm doing from here, so bear with me a little bit. I'm a little discombobulated with everything, but I'm hoping this all is going to work out for us. So um, again, I'm Freckled Heart. We are uh, part-time resellers on eBay and full-time uh, sellers on Etsy. I sell silverware jewelry, but right now I'm going to do a jewelry vid video and I'm going to start out with this thread up 15 piece box. So let's see what we can find today. This one is from, this one's from Phoenix. Take the little front part up, but they like to be extra careful. All right, and we have a. I know that's what it is. I'd be shocked if it was anything different. Mixed jewelry, forty-eight dollars plus five ninety-nine shipping. as much room here so I can't maneuver quite the same way so we're just gonna I hope you guys believe me that I haven't looked that's it so let's start with the first one here and what do we have it's a pretty bracelet very pretty that looks like a, a rutilated quartz oh it does say something on there it says E-R-I-M-I-Z-H? Is that what that says? Can you guys see that? Let's see. Right there. E-T? E-R? E-T? I-M? Etimish? Etimish? Hmm. I have no idea. I'll see if I can get that on there for you again. Is that it? E T I M I S H. I'm guessing that's what that says. And I don't know that brand. This is really pretty. And I'm pretty sure this is real because you can see all the little. Um, there. So even though it was polished, you can see that in the, um, oh, you know what? I have a presidium now. Let's test it and see what it says. That. Let's see. Let's see. Sorry, I gotta pull up my readers. And that goes into the quartz, which would be Perfect, because I believe this is a related quartz. Quartz. Very pretty. I don't think the little ones are anything, as I don't think this is a... Um, sorry, I don't think it's... Uh, well, hmm. Hmm. Okay. Let me try one of these on, although I could get it on here anyway. Yeah, that goes right into glass so but this is still very pretty and I'm gonna look that up and I will give you a price later on that one let's look at the next one okay this looks like turquoise but I don't believe it is I don't think this is sterling I don't see any kind of a and I don't think, um, I'm positive this is not sterling. It's like um, kind of almost sharp on the edges. 
So it's a pretty little bracelet, but I think it's just fashion, which is fine because it is pretty. I didn't try the other one on. Let's see what that one looks like. Can you get the advice? That's really pretty on. Very nice. And both of those are adjustable somewhat. All right, two bracelet, another bracelet. Phoenix is on fire with bracelets. Um, this says Kendra Scott. And this is just a little brushed gold bracelet. Kendra Scott is not usually um, any kind of, it's not usually fine jewelry, I don't think. I don't think this would be, uh, gold, but I'll check it. Um, and I've got, not giving you prices on anything, so I'll check this and I'll check that first one. This one, um, I would do, uh, $4 on. Okay, let's get this started right, huh? Let's see... Is this? Alright, this is just a really dainty little necklace. Like little arrows. And then just little balls. All silver here. This looks like Stella and Dot. Um, Stella and Dot is not normally... Sterling, but nothing seems to be. Huh. So I will give you a price on that one later, too. Good grief. Not giving you prices on anything right now. But I promise they'll all be in the description because I'll look these up tonight before I post this tomorrow. This is cute. This almost looks like Brighton. My reader's on again. ASJ 925 Thailand. Hmm. Oh my guys. They think it's really sterling. Let's look. Let's look. We'll do the clasp. Which, I don't know, we'll do one of these. Okay, so it looks like the clasp is sterling. I don't think the other is. Maybe. Hmm, let's try one again. One more time. Yeah, it looks like there might be a little bit, so maybe it's a plate of some kind. But like this one, quite obviously, was sterling, the clasp. The rest of it, I see a little bit of blue there, but I don't, it's not full sterling, so I'm not quite sure that what's going on. And I don't see any kind of maker's mark unless ASJ is one. So again, I'm going to check this out and 
and see what I can find out. It's really pretty, very pretty. Filigree type work. It's um, so it's got gold in here. So it's a two tone. Really pretty, nice weight to it too. I'll give you a price on it. Okay, let's see. What is this? Wow. Alright, this is Stella and Dot. Does not look like their normal stuff. Okay. That is interesting. So this is going to be like a right at the base of your neck or a choker. It'd be a choker on me. Oof. Wow. Okay, Danny, what do you think of this choker? Let me try this one out. This, oh, I thought it was lapis at first, but it's not. It's not real stone, I don't think. So, that is quite different. Quite different, but it does look like it's like pretty much like a choker when I put it on. So, that's kind of cool, and I'm going to give you a Stellan Dot. I don't know the pricing, so I'll let you know. If you can look, once this comes out, it should all be there. Alright, this is a pretty little ring. There's no, oh wait, yes there is. Maybe. It's 925. So this is, this is a Vermeer. Cause there is some, uh, gosh, am I like totally out of the, there is a little bit of wear here. Uh, I don't know if this would be like an adventuring. Adventuring. Let's see if this comes up as anything. No, this comes up as glass. Yep. So, it's pretty. There is definitely a little bit of wear on it. So, um, let's look at this. Yeah, that is coming up sterling. All right, so it must be a vermeil of some kind. Um, but it definitely has some wear on it, so I'm going to go ahead and say, oh, let's see what size it is. I'm going to go ahead. It's like a six and a quarter. Um, so it is sterling. I don't know if anybody's going to want that with the wear on it. Um, so I might just put it in a scrap sterling pile, but if somebody's interested in it, uh, we'll do, we'll do like, it's pretty, it is pretty. We'll do like $7 on that one. Okay. <laughs> These look, oh, they've got all kinds of hair in them. Oh my gosh, they've got all kinds of fuzz and what the heck. What is going on, guys? It's like they got stuck in somebody's sweater. Uh, 
enough to get all this out. I don't know what that, um, maker's mark is. I don't know if that's like a VC, like a, I don't know, VJ, I'm not sure, I'll have to look this up. These are pretty. Um, they look vintage, but I, they may just be made to look vintage. They're very pretty. I like the color on them. I like the freshwater pearls. This one doesn't have all the junk in it. But I'm going to have to look this up and see who that is. Um... But this is really pretty. These are very pretty. And I will give you a price on those also. I really like those. I think those are gorgeous. Okay. Looks like I'm going to have to just give prices on this whole dang box. <laughs> oh my goodness. These are some big tassel earrings. Wow, those are huge. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to break this. There we go. Interesting. They look brand new. I don't know if it has see any kind of a maker on there. see anything on there. I don't see anything on there. So, huh. These are kind of neat. I'm going to Google Lens these and see if I can figure out who made them. They're very pretty. They're very large, like I said. Definitely a statement earring, but with the right outfit, they would be gorgeous. All right. Where do I put them? Let's see, what's this? This is Loft. And I apologize for my nails underneath are very dirty because I've been doing my jewelry. And if anybody knows who works with um, silver, your hands get black. So underneath my nails always gets black. So this I think is glass. We'll do a little testy here. Yeah, these are just glass and these are plastic. But this is a cute necklace. Okay, this is the loft. I'm trying to get it so you can see the whole thing. It's nice and long. So it's going to be, let's see how long it is. Thirty-five, thirty-six inches long. It's a nice long one. Look at all these pretty little stations in here. This is just glass, but it's really pretty. Kind of like a smoky, almost like a smoky quartz look. And the same with this. Pretty little beads and little. These aren't really beads, but these little stones or faux stones. It's very nice. Um, the gold tone looks good. It looks like it's in good condition. So it's a loft. I'm going to say, mm, let's do $6 on this one. Alex, 
and Ani. Almost always get an Alex and Ani. Well, this is a pretty one. It's a Guardian Angels. Guardian Angel. I really like this one. Adorned with Swarovski crystals. That one's really pretty. Anyone who knows me knows I'm all about my guardian angels who are my, you know, parents, my grandparents, my, all the people I think will look after me. So I might even have to keep this one. I'm not sure this one's going to be for sale. We'll see. I really like that one. All right. Oh, this is a big one. Let's see, what's this say? Julian Golay? Gold, no, Julian Gold. Looks like J. Crew me, but I don't know anything. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. Look at this, guys. I mean, this is Banana Republic. Banana Republic. Wow, now that is a statement piece. Can you even see all that? I'm not sure. Gosh, that's gorgeous. That would be like, that's like the Queen's. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. But pretty. And these crystals, it's pretty slate blue crystals all the way down. And then these rhinestones all through with these. These are faux. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to check them in a second, but look at those. This is heavy. Just looking to make sure I don't see. Oh, it's missing a rhinestone right there. Dang. I wonder if I can find that one. That is a crazy necklace. Everything is in such good shape other than that one limestone. There might be a couple others, but that's the only one I saw right away. Where did it go? Right there. Yeah, that's the only one I see right away. Let's see. Nope. All right, well, I'm going to look this up, too, because this is a crazy, crazy, crazy one. Um, I'm going to see how much these are going for, and I might be able to find a rhinestone for that, too. I'll have to look and see. So, make sure it's not in here. No, I don't see it in there. Wow, that was... I can't even get it back in that bag. Okay, there we go. All right, what else do we have here? Another bracelet. Hmm. And who is that, do you think? Please, if anybody knows, let me know. Because right offhand, I have no clue. I'm going to have to do a Google Lens on that one, too. I don't think that's one I've seen before, if that's a maker's mark. This is really pretty. Can't get my hand through it, but gosh, nothing is. Oop, there we go. So I'm not sure who this is. Um, I'll look this one up too. All right, guys, we got a couple more. Here's a ring. This looks like just a fashion one. Yeah, this is one of these little adjustable ones. The pretty little orange stone in the middle. This is all pretty through here. Very nice. And since it's adjustable, I think you can make it just about any size you want. Yeah. So I can go from about an eight or so up probably to about whatever you want. All right, so we'll do four dollars on that. And I think this is 
the last one, India Hex. This is a cool little bag. And this is a look. Look at that. Look at the snake on there. Wrapped around the stone. It just looks like a granite or something. It doesn't look... Let's see. It's up in like the quartz area. Quartz. Yeah. I'll have to look it up and see if I can figure out what that is. If anybody knows, let me know. It doesn't look like quartz to me, but I'm not sure. Maybe granite shows up in the same as quartz. So this is India Hicks. I have no idea how much her stuff goes for. But that is very cool with that um, snake wrapped around it. I really like that. And that just says IH again too. I don't think this is... Oh, who the heck knows, right? I'm going to look it up. All right, guys, so I think that's it. So let's just count here. Was that 15 cards? That went fast, didn't it? All right, so we've got one, this, two, three, four, this great big one, five, six, seven, eight, Choker. Eleven. Twelve. This little Kendra Scott. Thirteen. Fourteen. Is that it? That may be around here, and I'm just not seeing it too. They shorted me one, I'll let them know. But otherwise, I may have counted wrong too. So that's it for today, guys. It was nice um, finally getting to do one up here in Montana for you. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know uh, which one you liked the best and what you thought of the box. And um, I'm all out of uh, jewelry videos I just noticed don't have any more to schedule so I'll be doing some more while I'm up here I've got a couple more 15 piece a couple five piece DIYs or five pound DIYs and a couple of Goodwill blue boxes that I brought up here with me so I'm going to be doing some more videos here soon and I will get those out to you and I hope you enjoy hope everybody's having a good summer and I hope you guys will all be safe be well be happy I'll see you later Bye.